Oh, that. You can't stop it. It's happening. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner, buddy. How you doing? How you been? I hope you had a good week. Thank Ro you. I did. I, okay. I, was, I was talking to you. Oh. So today I am going to play with the Legends of the Sea Inks by Jane Davenport. As it says in the title, Rocky's fiddling with the camera. What you doing? You're fine. Just keep talking. Oh okay. my gosh, paranoid. I just was like, <laughs> do we need a break? Okay. If we haven't even started. Do we need a break? Um. Anyway, so these are cool. They, you know, they lay down one color. They dry. You get another color coming in. So it's kind of monotone because I'm going to try and do portraits, like an entire portrait, using one color. But it'll have multiple colors in it. And this is a gradient ink. And this is a sheen ink. So the sheen ones will have like a shiny texture to it and the uh, gradient ones will not. Let me show you an example, just because- I was just gonna ask. That might be confusing. So this here is the gradient ink. Like it's not really shiny or anything. And this is done with like the shinier, it's always hard to hit the light just right. Especially down here, if you look, you can see like there's that red and the blue, the pink and blue, that's like from one ink bottle. So, you know, you get multiple colors. Fun. It's like an experimentation of color and shimmer and jazz. Ooh, and we're hoping it turns out. I've only done one drawing like this, painting, whatever you want to call it. So we're hoping that it, it'll work. If... Jenna, Trisha, and Elaine say hi. Well, hey, everybody, and welcome. So I'm going to move these ones over here. I did pick out some colors already. Actually, Brock, we put those over there, please. Yes. Thank you, my love. Um, so I have Leviathan, which is like a gray. And I haven't done like a full painting with this one yet. So I don't know, really know what the gradient is. So we shall be surprised together. Maybe it'll just be gray. We don't know. And then I haven't decided yet between the Ching Shi and the Anne Bonnie. Uh, they are both sheen inks. So they will be shiny and they will have multicolors. This one obviously will have like a red and yellowy gold thing happening. This one will be like pinks and purples. And we'll find out later what we're going to do with those. So much fun. Catherine yeah. says hi. Well, hello, Catherine. And cookies. Because like... How do you create art without snacks and coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, set it down so we can get a good focus because it's well, right on the page. There you go. Well, I don't want to do that because it's it's glary. Oh, it's so glary. It's glarious. Let's can we just just open it? Thank you. Oh, uh, it's the cookies that everybody knows and loves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're delicious. what do you go with first? You do like the little sugar shell topped. pretzel swirl Sugary. you want the sugar okay yes well, but no yeah oh, that, right. oh, 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 oh 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 don't go too far i'm gonna use this as a reference and y'all know how i do with my references it's like you're there maybe i'll take some likeness from you or maybe i'll just use you for some shading bits highly recommend references if you're you know not selling you your pieces trisha says oh that tin is scrumpy oh that is so accurate <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have a little sip of the coffee, a dunk of the cookie. I'm dunking. I can't dunk because my the whole of my coffee cup's tiny. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. When you dip it? I'm going to have to take my, my lid off to dip. Mm. I've taken inspiration from Kimball. This is my glass pen. I got it super cheap on Amazon when I was in the States. Have no idea from where. But if you just type in gla glass dip pen, you can find them cheap. Got my little Jane Davenport paintbrush. Got a toothbrush just in case. You never know. Got a little Jane Davenport, little Mr. Bottle thing. Well, this is a goddess bottle, Mr. Thingy. <laughs> Janice says, wait, that cookie jar isn't filled with sewing supplies. The lies! <laughs> <laughs> Someday. It might be filled with some, you know, paints and craft supplies. All right, we'll see. I'm kind of nervous, kind of not. Why are you nervous? Because when am I not nervous when I go live? Kimball was nervous because we were just at like a little, in one of the villages near our place, we went and saw like a lighting of the lights in the square and they had a parade and like fireworks and all this and when we got back he said my hands are so cold and so he was like running them under hot water to make sure that they're warmed up for the art okay hold on i haven't used this brush yet so it did have some of that stiff starchy stuff in it um i'm just gonna say this is the fullest bottle of ink i have ever held in my hands it is i thought it was bubbles but it's like filled to the very very top it's so filled to the brim with girlish glee we're gonna just set that aside Please don't bump into it, anyone, Rocky. And you think you're funny. You think you're funny, but there have been mishaps mm. shared on the Dan Jane Davenport side. And people are like, I lost my whole thing of ink. I would die. Okay. So I think I'm going to try and do two faces. One here, one there. So we're going to try a gradient ink and a sheen ink. And I'm going to basically block in shading with the brush. 
And then we're just going to do some like line work with the dip pen. And the dip pen's really easy because you can dip it into the ink and then just rinse it off in water. Super easy. The brushes take a bit to get the inks out of them. So I kind of have a love-hate thing with inks. Unless they have like a dropper on them, like a, an eyedropper tincture thingy. Because I don't like putting them in palettes. I'm just lazy. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I like to just dunk right in, but I don't want to cross-contaminate. So that's why we're doing one colors tonight. One color tonight, not one colors. <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, Trisha says, Jenna, I loved your abstract artwork this week. Me too. Me too. It was gorgeous. Um, and then Trisha also says, let's see on here. Trisha says, oh yes, blue ink is the worst. It won't come out of the carpet. Ugh, she's not I... speaking from experience. She's just, <laughs> she's guessing. I do not want to find that out firsthand. Not so, more ranking. Well, well, that went too far. That's taking it too yeah. far. Now she's smiling because I wasn't quite paying attention. Blocking in colors. Well, color. Mm. And I'm using the Levartation Jane Davenport Journal. I do wish I had the other one. I can't recall what it is. The windowpane journal. Because, like, the inks show up a little bit better on those. But that's fine. We'll make do. And it's going to get wrinkly and weird and wonderful. And we love that. Do we? I do. Is that what we love? That's what we love in this house. And if you say otherwise, you're calling me a liar. So what did you all get up to this week? Anything fun? I'm sorry. Normally we'd be celebrating Thanksgiving coming up, but I don't think we celebrate that now that we live in the UK. I don't We're not allowed. I don't think we celebrated it when we lived in the States. I mean, we ate yams. I mean, our family did. <sighs> don't even talk about the yams. <laughs> Kimball's been... So in the States, they have this thing that's like sweet yams in a can... The you, princessa you or put the them Bruce. in a casserole dish. You add marshmallows. You cook them. You do orange and, and brown sugar and all this yummy stuff. And you put them in the oven until the marshmallows hopefully don't catch on fire. Yeah. And then you eat them and they're delicious. We can't really find those here. So Kimball was looking at all the different stores and all that. He finally found them on Amazon, but they're like $20 for three cans. <laughs> And I was like, I don't need it. It's fine. It's like literally the only thing I ever have at Thanksgiving is the stuffing and the yams. So we're going to try to make some homemade yams. I didn't really. Uh, Are yams any... a thing? Do you guys eat yams? If you live in the UK, let us know in the comments if yams well, is a thing. Well, they do sweet potato, yeah. I didn't really have room for other girl, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just do her on that side. Oh my Jenna God. says she painted her living room last night at 2 a.m. I mean, uh, that's the best time to do it. I Really? I'm never more inspired than around 2 a.m. Just ask my bladder. Oh, my God. He's not lying, people. Every night, like clockwork. It's more It's more like 3, 3 a.m. Yeah, it's still. usually 3. Oh, my God. I love the color that's come through. I don't know if you can see it yet, but it's like turning pinky purple in the middle right here. Like where I lay it on noise and thick. Noise and thick. Noise and thick. Let me, um, I'll turn down the exposure, but that might help. And it's only where, yeah, it's only where it's thick, but whatever. So let's try that and see. Okay. Her hair, we're just mm. going to have, we're going to have this come down this way. I'm trying to adjust the white balance because I feel like it's funky. Well, you do. Well, do you need me to stop? Cause that's no, yellow. it looks yellow. No, 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 no. We don't like that. We don't like that. Moving on, moving on, moving on. We'll try that for a while. We'll, we'll try it for just a while. We'll see what happens. See, I did see. an actual white balance thing earlier, but it just felt warm regardless. So I don't know what is the deal. Well, this is working just fine though. I think you see more of the color this way. Well, that's good. Obviously, it's going to be super wrinkly too. I, that's I hope happens. I look like that when I'm 45. When you're 45? What? My time out. I do love the little strands that happen. Not for everybody, but I like it. It's not hair. Just shading. Trisha says, I'm sorry, but the yam just sounds pretty awful to me. <laughs> if you right. find an Asian supermarket, you may find a yam or maybe Fortnum's. They might have them. You know what this means. Mm -hmm. All right. Rinse in the brush. Jenna says, I love sweet potatoes. I do too. You know what the best sweet potatoes in the world are? I Japanese love, sweet potatoes. Yeah, where you they just are, wrap them and throw them in a fire and let them caramelize and do their thing. They don't even so look good. appetizing. They're, they look pretty on the outside, white on the inside, but then you eat them and it's just like the most sweet, delicious, yummy, 
I don't even know. Sweet potato. I don't know. It's delicious. Whatever it is. All right. Putting reference aside. Can I interest you in a yes. pretzel that's not a pretzel? Yeah. Fool your senses. Mm -hmm. Jenna says, no, I just brought home two boxes of Japanese sweet potatoes. Well, those will last a day or two mm -hmm. in this house anyway. I'm going with the dip pen. Let's do some line work. I feel like they'd be really good if you were camping and you just like threw them in some tin foil on the fire. That's or you if you're like do. my grandpa and you had 69 Chevelle and you could just throw it in the engine block mm -hmm. and drive to the store and back. Gross. He used to do that. It was so funny. He'd be like, now we have baked potatoes. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. It's just mm -hmm. a hint of ass <laughs> from that engine. I think it's clever. Didn't say it wasn't clever, but I mean, was he falling on hard times? No. I mean, they lived in during the Depression, so yeah, maybe. Well, it's just like really super sad. Don't bring it down. <clears throat> Kimball. Yes, my love. What did you get up to this week? Well, should we talk about, you know, building... Oh my God, how many times do we go to Ikea? Um, but building lots of Ikea furniture. Lot. Yeah, so we were basically this last week was installing the kitchen for our new studio. So I didn't really have a lot of support. So I dragged Kimball in the week before to help me build all the cabinets. And then I brought him in again this week to help me build a lot of the office furniture. And every, every night I had to go to Ikea for like something else. Because, you know, when you're doing a kitchen, there's just hundreds and hundreds of parts. Well, and it's not just, it was like a kitchen, an office space, storage space. Like there was a lot going on. So, yeah, and there was always like at least one thing I needed to like for the next day to keep going. So it was just, you know, one of those things. You, you can plan, you can plan for weeks. And there's always like one or two things that you just have to get. Yeah. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Yeah, if Jenna was doing it, she could probably do it without needing to go back to Ikea. But it's been a while. I'm eating these cookies like they're air. Yeah, you usually wolf down the snacks. Mm. You're like, I'm good. I don't eat snacks throughout the week. We did have other snacks that I bought, but we ate those. <laughs> Whoopsies. They were the from the same company that, did the, that does the tea cakes that we like. They were, what were those? Like caramel something toffee bars? They were good. Janice says, oh, I love Ikea. Sometimes I just walk there and look and I love the smell of wood. Well, Janice, if you really love Ikea, you should look up some of Jenna's old videos of Ikea Home Tour. Just look it up. I, Ikea Home Tour I in agree. the U.S. Season, uh, what season? Four? I think season four. The good times. Don't look for mine, though. Just look for Jenna's. <laughs> yeah. You're in all of them. One of my favorite ones we ever did. I uh, I don't even remember where we were, but we were doing a laundry room and um, everyone had left for the day and it was just Jenna and I left and we had to film some of Jenna's like interview scenes and it was oh so hot. And it was like, we had to install like kitchens in this, li this like this little laundry room. It was like intense. And we were just laughing so I hard. Love that footage. I remember like showing me like behind the scenes stuff. Oh my gosh. Some of the funniest funny. memories. Or like when we were in New York with Jenna and we went to that cat thing. Mm. That was random and fun. Was that Any, the anything with Jenna was fun. That's true. Well, except for that time we were in Chinatown and we were all hungry and cold. Well, it was still fun in my eyes. <laughs> it was funny now looking back on it. <clears throat> I've never seen Jenna upset in my life except for that one day. And with good reason. Jenna's like one of the most patient people I've ever met. Like, there could be so much going on, and she was just so chill about everything. <laughs> I mean, she would, like, maybe annoyed occasionally, but who isn't, right? We had a thing called It Doesn't Make Sense. What was it? I D M whatever. I don't know. Whatever the acronym is for It Doesn't Make Sense. As you're, like, saying it in your head. Wait, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's the weekend. I don't have to think. I save that for the weekdays. That's true. I D M S. Thank you. It doesn't have to make sense. I D M S. Can't be bothered. I feel like she's very just like, I'm staring. I'll never forget when we saw Jenna's, um, because I was on the team before Jenna came on and I had to like, I had to like go through a bunch of applications for people who were trying to join this. And I saw Jenna's 
tape and i was like absolutely no one is above jenna right now like jenna is going to be <laughs> i it, was there we're jenna both like, will yes. definitely be in like no matter i just like called the people i'm like no matter what happens jenna is going to make it in are we understood and they were yes and we were and it was hmm quick rinse of that thingy i'm gonna add a little shading i haven't like layered these before so i don't really know how this is gonna work I don't even know if they layer. <laughs> Jenna says, oh, I never heard that story. Um, obviously, Kimball was right next to me while we <laughs> while we were going through all the applications together. Yeah, it was like, obviously her. You'd be a fool not to. Hmm. I think I like her. Denise says, hello, everybody. Oh, hello. We're just doodling, taking it easy tonight. What are right. these supplies called again? The Legends of the Sea Inc. Gotcha, gotcha. Where are they? Oh, they're right there in Do front you need of you. Some? No, but I just thought it was funny that you're asking and they're like right in front of you. Oh, it's on the box. Gotcha. And I have a little quick sip of the copy. Oh my god, we went to Burger King. Oh Sorry. my lord. To Speaking remind ourselves why we don't go to Burger King. I'm sorry if you guys like Burger King. Please don't be offended. But we I maybe we just went on an off day. I don't no, know. No, it's happened. as disgusting as it always is. First of all, it was back like in a construction site. Like I was like, are we supposed to be on this property right now? The lights were all off. It's like open as usual. It was, there was so like, dark and there crazy. was like one light over the place where they take your order. That was it. Yeah, right by the dumpster where the kids were like fighting. <laughs> the youths. I was like like literally they were probably like 15 feet from like the order box thingy whatever it is the drive through yeah, intercom yeah. i was so uncomfortable i was like do we just go like i don't know what's and like i i'm pretty sure they were play fighting but we didn't know that at first because it was like he like held him down like smacked him over the head and i was like oh my god what am i witnessing what did we do <laughs> youths oh children of the day but the today. fries were fine the fries and onions were good the burgers were just disgusting all right is she done? Is she? I think so. I want to try a sheer ink. I mean, we're not done. I'm going to do another one. But I think, I don't know if I want to just make it up or not. All just right. make it up, Kimball. Well, what's the worst that could happen? <sighs> Nuclear fallout. Winter, I don't know. Okay, well, I didn't think we were going to go there. there but I, maybe I'll do it over what here. What you should do is have a treat. That one's good. Get that one. You're mm. the cause of all my weight problems. Okay. Mm. Got to count these now because I get two of each. <laughs> Mm. I think I already ate all mine. Oh my gosh. How many cookies? That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I just had 10 cookies. Oink, oink. Okay, so are we doing Ching Chi or are we doing Anne Bonnie? Uh, Purpley Pinks? Do that one. I don't think I was asking you. Oh, okay. Sorry. But... We're asking you guys, which one should we do? <laughs> but if nobody answers in five seconds. Oh my gosh, that's so much pressure. Give them 10 seconds. Five. Four. Someone clap if you believe in fairies. Three. Two. By the way, can we can we while we're waiting for the answer, can we please show our favorite part of the parade float from tonight? What do we got? Who's the first one? Uh, right one, purple pink. Right one, purple pink. All right, and Bonnie, it is. Okay, let's look. So our favorite part of the parade tonight. It was all about light. So they had like these drummers with all these LED lights, and they were drumming and all this. Wait, and am then... I just finding the picture? <laughs> yeah. The footage. Just the pictures. Mm -hmm. But do it quickly because this is a live stream and this is for entertainment value, Kimball. Well, you should have... Tell us this. what kind of parade this looks like to you. Hold it down a bit more. Here, I'll zoom in. Center it. it what's happening? I, I could not tell you. That was weird. Some new effect on your phone. So that was our favorite part of the parade. I just... One of them had lights through their mouth, mind you, which I thought was very funny. Yeah, this guy, he can't really... See, I don't think you can see him on this one. But yeah, he had like a, a nuzzle harness thingy. They were cute, though. And anyway. I was confused. <laughs> I, was I was like, like is this a pride parade? Happy okay. Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's do a face over here. And this is the Sheen ink, so it's going to be a bit different. Trisha says, Wombles. Wombles? I don't know what oh. Wombles is, but it's Wombly. Listen, I haven't even done anything yet. My fingers are covered with glue. Ooh, that's so pretty when you open it. Thank you. It's like magic in a bottle. Okay, so I'm not... Let me just see if I don't want to use reference. Ugh. 
all this reference, non-reference. Yeah, I think I'll just make it up. Okay. Ooh. So that, that, we're doing a nose. This is the side of the face. It's a three quarter turn. This is so much darker. So I need to be careful with it. Not careful, but like- Can't go backwards. I just don't want to make it too dark because then it's, I'm gonna make sure I'm actually on screen. Just because, I mean, I guess I could water it down, but I don't know if that's gonna affect the sheening, shearing, shading of it all. Well, let's just do that. All right. And that, and then maybe she's like kind of sticking her neck out. You just got lighter and lighter. The Wombles are a fictional pointy-nosed furry creatures created by Elizabeth Beresford and originally appearing in a series of children's novels from 1968. They live in the burrows where they aim to help the environment by collecting and recycling rubbish in creative ways. That's fun. So I haven't used water with these. So that was neat. And I mean, can we just talk about the variation in color? I don't, God, it's like so not as saturated on screen. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, no, it's fine. It's just, I was like, gosh, it's so saturated. And I looked over there. I was like, well, not so much over there, but you know. It looks like you're using two different paint colors. It's bizarre. I know. And I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Not that much. Oh. All right. What else did you have on the list to chat about today, Kimball? What's on my list today? I'll find it at Fred Meyer, which most of you probably have heard of. Um, let's see. Hmm. Talk about building furniture. Oh, we pulled out the Christmas decor. Oh, we did. And we went shopping for more because we're trying to decorate our lower level window to be like a little Christmas scene. And we were like, you know what? We need to go shopping. That's true. This is very dark. So I'm going to just rinse my brush. I was not ready for this. Just go with it, Kimball. It's art. Well, I know, but it's not art if I just turn the whole page blue. Then it's just a mess. Ooh, the Wombles had their very own Christmas hit, Wombling Fairy Merry Christmas. Wombling Merry Christmas, Kimball. Is it like on it. is it on Apple Music? You are. I'm looking it up. If you didn't Wombles. know, Rumpy's on Apple Music. What not Wimbles? Wombles. Hello. Wombles, Merry Christmas. Fine, I didn't want to listen to it anyway. Well, that's we'll have to YouTube it later. Oh, right. what else is happening, Kimball? What's happening here? How do you feel, in Kimball? Hmm? I'm feeling okay. Anything fun and exciting in your world aside from you know going to work? It was awful. <laughs> um. I mean, I don't know about fun and exciting. Just playing with inks, because why wouldn't I? I might do like another ink color in between them and just see what happens. Maybe I'll use the yellowy one for like a background. Not sure yet. I'm getting vibes of like jealous sister looking at the other sister. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's feeling blue. Kimball just looked at She's me. Awesome. I don't know. You can't see it there, but like. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Here, have a cookie while you're doing that. Okay. Multitask, Kimball. Oh, I get one more of these because you already had one of the other ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, there we go. Ooh. Fun! Give him my dip pen. What are the pros and cons of doing a glass dip pen? I don't know. I mean, it's just a different tool. I was just trying to make conversation. <laughs> well, it's stupid. <laughs> what is that from? Is that Will and Grace? Yeah, it's Karen. Well, screw you. I was just trying to make conversation. We, uh, why were we getting the printer out? Oh, oh so I had, a, I had a refund check come from 
like my car insurance back in the States. And um, they sent it to our, to Kimball's parents. They sent us a picture. We did this before last time where I just like put it on the computer, put my signature, took a picture of it. Everything was fine. This one, mm-hmm. for whatever reason, does not want, it will not allow us to take the front picture. So I was like, well, let's print them out and take a picture of the printed version. So we got Kimball's Canon Pixma Pro 100 out. Super deluxe. Which, which we had no instructions for. Yeah, had to find the cord for it. We bought it in the States and the instructions just so, were missing. Long story short, an hour and a half later, oh we finally God. figured out how to get... The connected <laughs> to the Wi-Fi. Connected, aligned, calibrated, assembled, all that stuff. And we printed out the check. And can you guess in the comments if it worked or not, please? I mean... I mean, I'm kind of already alluding that it really didn't work. Yeah... But Kimball was able to print some artwork, so that's good. Yeah, but it needs to be calibrated because it's not like the colors came out really wrong. But I did do it from my phone. I didn't do it from the computer, so I don't know. Are you sharing it or no? Everyone's already seen it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So, yeah, he printed it out. And then we're like, "Mm, maybe we'll just calibrate that a bit more. Right. I was like, it's a color test. I wanted to see how it was going to. But if you do it on actual glossy, like, photo paper, it'll look better. Yeah, but there's no darks. Like, there was no black in that. It's Mm. There's not even, like remotely dark i don't know if these lines are even going to show up or if they're just going to fade away missy says i love the gray portrait thanks and she says hello lovelies hello lovely we were looking up um christmas markets in the uk if you guys have any advice on where there's really good Christmas markets, let us know, because we're going to try to visit some this year at some point. We might try and go to the South Waterfront in London. Not entirely sure yet. We did we did see one in Birmingham that looked really nice, too. It looked huge. Um, What? Oh, I was going to share with you all this cool thing. I don't know. Maybe it's old news to you, but it was brand new to me. So this piece, uh, I did the whole background with this green and it was this ink and I was like, cool, I will use uh, layer cakes on top. So I started using layer cakes and they just sunk right into it. I was like, never mind. Uh, so then I started using, or I was like, I'll use acrylic because that'll lay on top of the ink and it should work, right? So I laid down a thing of acrylic and it pulled the ink out. And I was like, okay. So basically it's just like the acrylic was just sinking below the ink and it looked like I was doing absolutely nothing. After about four layers of acrylic, I was like this, or gesso, I was like, this isn't going to work. Like what is wrong? So I'm staring at it and you can see like, it was just like, it looked kind of like this down here. Like it was a dark color still. It wasn't really coming through. And I just took a wet paintbrush and I just went over the gessoed area and the ink activated and I wiped it off with a paper towel and I had like clean gesso. It was lovely. How bizarre. So I can try and demonstrate. I don't know how, what it is. I don't even know if this area has ink on it. Plus it's been a day or two, but I mean, you can see it's a little bit lighter, but Mm -hmm. yeah, this is like been sitting here forever. What are you doing? I was just noticing the Windex. Looks like you're making some Windex over here, Kimball. You're going to clean some windows. No, it's too much work. I feel like I should do something else because I'm kind of done. Do something. Let's see. Let's add. Oh my gosh, Kimball, you should draw a doodle and make it a dude. A doodle. Get a doodle. Do you see what I did though? Well, you're doing this a lot. Okay. Doing a doodle. <laughs> <laughs> Which just sounds like you want Listen, it's one of those jokes that you feel really clever when you make it, but it's only clever to you and everyone's like dumb. But if they came up with it, they'd be very proud of themselves. It's not a greeting card. Okay. I am going to rinse. I hope this is clean. Oh, yeah, it's clean. Okay. It's just, it was new, so the bristles are dying blue. I'm going to use that other color. Oh. Apparently I've used this a bit because it's pretty empty. Oh, okay. Dunked a little deep. Oh, now you're getting crazy. Well, they need a little background. Red rum. <laughs> Red rum. I'm going to add some water to over here. Are you having fun, darling? Always. It's art. 
We'll give her a little necklace, a little choker. Maybe I can dye her lips red. Oh my gosh. And then I'll come back in later with um just like a wet finer brush. Just now yeah, she's a holiday girl. Holiday. Holly Holiday. Oh my god. That's her name. That's her secret agent name. Ooh, it's turning purple. The precision with which you're doing this is crazy. I know. Is astounding. I really should not be ducking back into this ink, but I do what I want. You're desperate. It's live. <laughs> not so much, but I mean, I, I'm rinsing in between. Into your blue water. Well, can't be helped. Can't see what I'm doing because there's so much shiny glare happening. Just kind of fill that in up there. What? I was looking at your list, but I can't really see it from here. Oh, you can't just think of something you want to talk about? Oh my god, I can't think on my own. Are you kidding me? Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, well, we talked about Thanksgiving. I did order some more art supplies. I'm surprised they're not here yet because last time I ordered locally. They were here in like two days and it's been over a week and they're still processing. So confuse me. What else do I got going on? Nothing really. I don't know. When the holidays come around, everything just kind of slows down for us. We don't really do the parties and we don't do hosting of any kind. I know a lot of people have really busy holidays. No, thank you. <laughs> It's going to get very gold up in here. Trisha says that's a really great red. It is until it turns gold. <laughs> What's wrong can... with gold? It's not red. It's gold. It's corn. <laughs> what is happening with you? Remember the corn? I never saw that video, did you, of the corn? Kimball doesn't know about the corn, kid. Oh, yeah, I don't care. It's got the juice, Kimball. Okay. Before he knew that corn was real. I need to. Well, first off, can you see the gold up there now? Hold on, I yes. gotta, I gotta find yes, the right. There we go. It's like you gotta hit. It's like so funny because I can see. Oh, it's kind of like as I'm using this. I have a light over there. It's like shining a little differently. Shine bright like a diamond. Another one of my favorite songs. Oh. Elaine right. says, "Are you going to order the Star Power Ink from UK Stockist?" Girl, that is what's on its way. <laughs> <laughs> I was really annoyed because I ordered it, or no, no, no. I had it in my cart, and I was like waiting to get all the colors. And then I went back the next day and it was out of stock. So I was very annoyed. So I just ordered a few and I was like, I can make do with these. And then the next day it was like back in stock and I hated everything. <laughs> wow. And that's the story of Kimball's life. She's got a little pink to her nose, a little pink to her cheeks. Your palette is the page. Mm. Cute. Okay, Miss Moody, you need to like calm down with your bad self. Okay, you're. I see why you're upset. <laughs> <laughs> you smudge easily. But some was... people do smudge easily. I find. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to probably screw this up, but I'm going to plop some drops for some texture. Plop some drops. Oh. Whoopsies. Oh, okay. Well, you might as well spray it. We're going to just see what happens. we got to let it sit so it activates the inks. And then that's probably good enough. Take this. What if her old face is gone? I'm gonna, I would laugh so hard. <laughs> it's going to be spotty. <laughs> we get nice little textures. Ooh, I love a good that's texture. That's interest. I love a good interest. texture. Interest. Do some down here. Ah, That just really is like all or nothing. There we go. Well, it's like blip, 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 blip. <laughs> It's like you build up so You're much just stronger than you realize. I know, I know. I've been working out. And that's the lie. I happen. I was like, when does this happen? <laughs> you know, every morning when I get it before you. Oh yeah, the two and a half hours before I get up, you're just exercising. No, I eat. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> Ooh, why do I love splotchy spots so much? Oh, you know what? I could try toothbrush heller. Uh, let's pick just a random color. Hand me a color out of there. Terry Carmody, Carmody says, Woo! I finally made it to a live! Woo! I am so glad you made it. Hi, Kimball and Rocky. What color? I'm sorry. Just pick one. Just not you a want, gray one. Oh, just you want not a color? Gray. How about Blackbeard? 
Okay, well, it's basically purple. And then green. All right, I'm going to try. Oh, my goodness. This is probably a really bad idea. Yeah, well, I mean, can't go backwards. Well, my fingers are going to have regrets, I can tell. Oh, my. It's a nice, fine... Sp I love how I don't even care about her. <laughs> I'm all, well, she can take it. She's a mess. Whatever. Someone done spray paint across her forehead. Well, okay, dunk you in there. Oh, my God. Here, let me get you a paper towel. You're going to need... Here, dip your hand in the Windex. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm fine. And then we're going to take just plain water. What if I just handed you a Q-tip? I was like, here, Kim, we'll clean your hand off. <laughs> I want to pull that up a little bit. But now there's red speckles. I'm just playing at this point. Let's be real. I can see the green. I can definitely see the purple. Oh, I should close this because I'm um, disaster waiting. Oh, I was going to... True. Y'all, what was I going to do over here? I was like, oh, I'll come back later and like do something. What was it? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Uh, maybe they need highlights. Do highlights work on these? It looks like they just shot someone and like the blood splat came back and hit them on the face. Well, that's why you don't shoot people. Exactly. Rude. Not at close range. <laughs> Learn your okay. lesson, people. Wow, gross. All right. I could probably actually just use water to do a highlight, but why would I? This would probably sink right in. I have no idea. Yeah, it seems to be somewhat staying on top. Clean up your glossy lips. Now it is water reactive, so it's probably just gonna turn pink. Her, I feel like she, okay, this might be, yeah, she, wow, that's going real fast. But it's cool. I don't even know if you, can you see that? Oh, yeah, no. okay. yeah, it's just, it's subtle. It is. She's so edgy. Ooh, oh my God, mate. Your, nib, your nib will never be clean again. It's clean. There you go. Good job. Thanks. I knew it. I never doubted it. I didn't think you did. Now, I wonder, ooh, let's try. If I just get a wet dip pen, does this... Now, calm down. Ooh. Okay, well, you probably can't see anything. Oh, I, yes, I can see when I look at it here, but I can't see them. I oh mean, my God. very... Very well. Let me zoom in so you can see it. I'm gonna also do some uh, toothbrush splats. Oh well, I can't zoom in then. Oh, a big glob fell into her hair. That's whoops. Fine. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh my god, my water is so dirty. Uh, we don't care. Not in this house. This live is brought to you by Hot Mess. <laughs> okay, every live really. I feel like maybe I should ink. Her with a different color so she stands out a little more. That'd be fun. Which color do you want here? Something not too dark, but darker. Do you want to do pink or the sirens? So you can do Mary Celeste or the sirens. <sighs> the sirens are green, so they'll probably just turn like a... But look how pretty. Okay, we'll do sirens. Or it is Christmas after fancy. all. Christmassy colors. Fancy. No, it's really, really dark green. Yeah. I haven't I haven't yeah. used the sirens yet. Yeah, don't. You just do it. Sirens. Just do it. Mary Celeste. You have to wait for another day. It sounds like a drag queen. All right. I don't know how dark this is going to be. I don't know if I want to go all out or if I just want to do like, I think I'm just going to do a little bits here and there. Like highlight her eyes with green. Whenever someone's using a dip pen, I just always picture Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol. Do ya. Doing his books. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because there was a cartoon or something I saw when I was young. Does he use a dip pen or like a? I feel yeah. like he uses an old-fashioned like fountain pen. But I mean, well, it has a feather on it. Well, one of them, and he's dipping into the ink well. Is he dipping into it well? Ink well. I just feel fancy when I use a dip pen. Hmm. Maybe I will attempt just this line of her mouth and underneath. Nostrils, darling. You want to breathe. That's better. Ah, that's she had a deviated septum. Better. If only surgery was that easy. Tell me about it. Hmm. 
Okay, subtle, but there. Ooh, that water's so gross. Trisha says, I just make a mess with a dip pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, now what? Rocky, tell me what to do. I, just, I don't know what to do anymore. Enjoy her eyeballs. Here, have a cookie. <laughs> when all else fails, darling, have a cookie. I'm going to have tuna and chips after this. Mmm. I was going to make french fries. We are healthy. You're going to have tuna and crisps, and I'm going to have chips. Yes, correct, technically. Hmm. Oh, the sirens? Oh, they're a gradient ink. I was like, why aren't they shiny? But it's a gradient. What do they turn to? They have, it looks purpley in her eyes. I need to get really close, though. Did I do more water? Right oh, there. we've um, got Triple X 18 online free virtual girl chat. Oh my god, you so are in the right place. Let me just try to hide that. Yeah, delete it or block them. Report. Mm -hmm. Unwanted content or spam. Absolute garbage. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I want to put them in timeout, but that won't really do anything. Looks and strappy bit. I want to add some more siren because I want to see what it does. Ooh, fun. I love that. Well, I shouldn't have taken it through all the splatters. She's very dynamic. Just add a little shadow behind her. Remember when your like mono monotone picture went into like full color because you can't. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he can't. Well, can't help himself. Y'all understand. And I'm not gonna change the description <laughs> because lazy. Oh, she's ready for the club. Well, now my water is absolutely trash. Just take trash. that up to the top. That little splotchy. There you go. Now she's not a failure. Good looking out, Rocky. All right. I don't know what to do now because my water's trash. Well, I can clean my car windows with it later. <laughs> well. Hmm. What to do? Although I think colored pencils actually laid in really nicely on this paper. I think you should try. Well, I know it does. I've done colored pencil pieces in here. I mean, get... get Maybe I'll do a white colored pencil with her to make her face stand out a little bit better. But I want these drippy drips to be drawn. Well, I kind of like the white, though, how it's subtle on that <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really love what you were saying. I was hearing you. I was taking it in, and I thought, stupid. You bought your rag this way, right? It came like this color? Yes. Multicolor. I thought, buy a dirty rag off eBay. Gross, ew. So for those of you just joining, Kimball's playing with Legends of the Sea Sheen Ink by Jane Davenport, which is a mix of like gradient stuff and what was the other? <laughs> it's got a mix of this and a mix of that. Some of it is gradient ink and some of it is sheen ink. Sheen. Sheen. Let's make these eyes pop a little bit. Ooh. That guy's not even shaded. Let's just get a damp. Uh, oh, God. Whoops. Honey, no. When that blood vessel bursts. <laughs> well, I'm going right with white color pencil. Clean up your nose. Poor girl. Okay, so portraits, much easier to do. Either I could water these down, but really, do I ever do stuff like that? Um, but the lighter colors work better for these kind of portraits. The dark colors are a bit like, oh, we're done. This is what you're doing. Well, I think it just depends on the vibe you're going for, because I think it looks pretty cool. You know what? Me too. I'm going to add more of an eye down here, though. She's out of frame, Kimball. Listen, she's not. Just sit here. I'll just move it. Where is... There's a little bit of play with <laughs> Where are my glasses? <laughs> Where is my imaginary friend, person, whatever he says. Listen, I still have this because I still haven't finished that 
painting that I started like five years ago. It's gonna happen. I just want a little, little something for the inner eyes. Oh god, now I'm just getting all into it. Get into it. Fall into the gap. I'm there. Get into the groove. Her eyes are so uneven. Do we care? Not really. It's your it's your style, Kimball. That's right. You should just do one that's like super exaggerated. Just make it like almost like what is it? Cubism? What do they call it? I can't remember Abstract. what it's called. Abstract, whatever. I don't know. Impressionistic. Whatever you just want. Just name all the art styles. Oh, this is pretty with this color. Oh, I'm digging it. You can't go wrong when you just reach for a pencil. <laughs> Truer words have been spoken. Ooh. I'm loving like the subtle blues that are hitting into it now. What color is this? This is blue slate. We'll just keep it on her skin though. We don't want it in the background. It reminds me of when you like in Photoshop, you have everything grayscaled and you go in and just color with a color layer over the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you, and I know what you're saying. I'm sure everyone can relate to that. No, I don't think they can. Okay. Ooh, do I bring in some yellow? Yes, I think so. Because there's no yellow on this whole page. I mean, there's like that Ooh, weird yellow would be sheet. great. So we're just gonna gonna add it over here. Apparently, yeah, we'll bring it in up here. Oh, we'll bring it in the cheek, right over that pink. She's mm. a ray of sunshine now. Because before she was kind of like, I hate you guys. And I am better. And I know this. And that's why she's all like, get over yourself. She's like, let me do your makeup. There's a whole story happening here. I need to darken that up behind her. I don't know that I have like the right pencil for the job. But we'll take this purpley color. Well, I have purple on her skin. I'm a fool. What was I thinking? A berry color? No. What is this color? You're going down now. Who are you? Process red. Because why not? Kimball is getting free-handed crazy. Well, you know how much I love doing monotone art. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Oh, God. And then I do want like a dark... A dark little something. Oh, maybe I'll do, you know what I always do. I like to do the aqua. I just picture like cut to you two years later and you're still working on the same piece. Just keep, you've added so much that it's like four inches of just random art supplies stacked up on this one page. Be beautiful. Who doesn't love a touch of aqua? Elaine says, sorry, Campbell, but Jane is still better at making up stories for her artwork. <laughs> oh, that is so true. I never actually make up stories for my artwork. Go ahead, give it a, give it a shot, Kimball. I already did. She's all like, "I'm better than you." She's like, "I'm gonna cut you." Okay, that's it. Like, yeah, but like, why? What happened? Why not? Just look at him. That's all. Bring some sunshine into her life. She's happy about it. Is this is gonna show. Oh, that's interesting. She's like Jedi. She's like Sith. Like. They aren't having it. And they aren't playing. She's like, do it. <laughs> oh my god. What is a color that could contrast with this blue? Orange? Yeah, but like I don't think it's gonna stand up. I can't stand out above the path. There's this is kind of an orangey color. What are you? Pale of vermilion. Get yeah, out of my way. That's gonna do it. Well, no, it's too dark. Like it's hard to do a bright color on dark. So we're just going to try and fill in lighter spots. Mm. Elaine says one got Taylor Swift tickets and the other didn't. <laughs> I think she'd be holding a knife if that was the case. But yes, I see we were going with that. We don't know what's happening off screen. Um, what was I going to do? I had this like whole idea and then it just vanished as quickly as it came. Such is the story of my life. Oh, I was like, do I want to bear with? Bring in some yellow paint. This is like we're not we're not going crazy. I, I just picture be like now let's get the engine oil. Oh my god, just want to see if it's going to. Yeah, it's gonna sink right in. Okay, what? 
but I wanted to. How random. I mean, I was expecting, and plus like yellow is like the most translucent of paints really. But even if I leave it thick, take that to the edge. I think what happened is they shared a college class together and she sat right in front of her. And this one day she was talking about how she had this dream of like having an acai bowl truck. Oh my God. And then, you know, they parted ways. She ended up taking that idea and running with it. She's like, Ooh, that is a good idea. And she opened it right across the street from her dorm and she never did anything with her dream. And so now every time she leaves her dorm, she like looks over at the acai truck and is like, this is my idea. I guess that's better than the story I came up with. I'm just saying. You know, it's, it could be true. It could be taken straight from life. I want to kind of just merge out this yellow. And then what color is she going to have in her background? Because I'm just trying to like go to the edge, really. A gesso color. I've got pink. So maybe I'll just do pink. What do we got out here? We got a pink one. And I need my. I should have grabbed this for the other side too. Bear with grabbing a, a protective sheet. What are these? Trust, are these Tresemme sheets? I don't know. Tresemme. Just put that there just to keep the other pages nice and clean. Oh my God, I'm so just getting into this. I'm like, yes, layer on anything and everything. It doesn't even matter. Okay, but don't dump out on me. I mean, this one will be really as obvious that it's sinking in because it's pink already. Oh. Here, I'll zoom it out just a little bit. That's right, I'm feeling, I'm just getting rid of these white edges. I never do pages like all the way to the edge. I never do two-sided pages, but I know that this stuff isn't gonna go like cross over. I don't really wanna paint too much up there because I like the yellow sheen. Just give it all these little blibbity blips. Get off my paintbrush. She gets real messy. Poor girl. She's got the crappy end of everything on this one. All right. Cleaned that off. I love how she's just so like happy. Like here I am in my like glowing world. And she's like, I hate everything about you. <laughs> oh well. Such is life, am I right? I like the blue girl a lot. But she doesn't like herself. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay. It's everyone else she doesn't like. Oh, you know, a fair point. I want a cookie. All right, now what? Is that all you're going to do with it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I could do some mark making, but I'm not good at that. What's mark making? Mm. But maybe... We'll just take some purple. No, purple might be clashy. Hold on. Let's do like a teal. Do I have a teal? I mean, if I'm the just, world is just and right. It's just for mark making. I'm not going to. I don't know what mark making means. What is that? Can you explain? I'm going to make marks. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that's mark making. But I'm going to. You can use this. your dip pen with your acrylic skimble. You'd be that's the first terrible one. terrible idea. Probably not the first. Just you. Oh, I don't know why I took the cap off. Just gonna use my little paper palette and mark making. Oh my god, it's just disappearing. That was kind of unexpected. But. I'm kind of loving what's happening with it. This is like a total experimental day for me. I never really experiment with colors and I'm not with colors, but like with different products doing lives. I kind of like to know what I'm getting into, but oh, well, we're here for it. As everyone like clicks off, let's cover up this mess. What happened there? That's where a lot of mark making happens. 
Oh my god, it just disappeared. Can't cover up those mistakes. It's like the heavier the ink is or the darker it is, the more it just disappears. Even like, even though it's disappearing, I still see purple, which is really cool. Like, I still see like the mark. It's like an overlay layer. Oh my god, you're talking Photoshop talk. Ooh, marks, am I right? Do I want to do purple? That seems like it wouldn't fit. Okay, maybe I'm just a little, is it too much? Am I just going a little too much? You're having an art crisis, Kibble, and that's fine. You have a cookie. It's the sugar. Mmm. <laughs> 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 All right, what happens next? Oh, maybe we're done. No white highlights? For what? I don't know, whatever. I'm just... <laughs> Actually, I can add some to her eyes. Uh, yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, hers are there, but they just kind of faded a little. Just keep it loose and scratchy. Like her lips. Well, she's got them. Okay. Let's Trisha see. says, I love the marks. They look wonderful. Thank you. Sounds like more fireworks going off outside. This town cannot get enough of fireworks. I mean, there's a fireworks shop nearby, so that would make sense. There's probably a few of them. That ink is so reactive. Reminds me of mermaid markers. <gasps> mermaid markers. Get the mermaid markers out, Kim. Oh, my God. I want to Wait, get no, just, <laughs> just one. Just, I want to do a hot pink, and I want the oh glittery one. It's hot pink, and it's glitter. Terry uh, Carmody says, how are you both settling into the UK? Are you sick of the rain yet? To which I would respond, it has, has it been rained? the least <laughs> rainy place we've ever lived so far. <laughs> I'm like, it rains at nighttime, so I don't, that's... We don't used to know. live in Portland, Oregon, though, so in all fairness, it used to rain there a, a lot more. I think it's just been a really, it was a really nice summer here, um, as in, like, there was hardly any rain at all until recently. I'm just activating some of the sparklies in this. And Kim and I actually really like rainy days. We like when it's all cozy out. Yeah. Or cozy inside, I guess. I'm just... This is going to add, like, pinky glitter bits. I like the addition. Just keeping this one a little less. And I really want... I feel like I should bring this blue over here. Your goal is to use every Jane supply that you possibly have. <laughs> We're going to be here a while if that's going to happen. I'm just trying to activate the mica in the... Uh... Is this one of the sparkly ones? Because sometimes it's not. There's like glittery yumness in the bottom. Worst case scenario, you're just tapping it. I feel like this one's going to be really dark, though. But, Terry, we are settling in very nicely. Thank you very much for asking. I'm loving England. We've been having oh. a lot of fun exploring. We've been to London quite a few times. This and a lot out. of the little villages around us and... This came out very dark. The Chiltern so. Hills are gorgeous. Went to the Cotswolds. So, yeah, we've been doing a lot of adventuring as, as much as we can. It's been very busy work-wise, but. Yes. As soon as the studio and. Whoopsies. Okay. This is, I don't know why the blues of all my, like, juicy pens, all the blue inks leaked they out. They can't stay contained. Yeah. Nancy says, hi. Hi, Nance. How's it going? How you doing? Oh my god. It's me. You all know. I'm sure Hi. everyone has matching fingers. <laughs> it's the problem. It's me. <laughs> You're high. That's the problem. Not really. We don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. It's bad. Um, did I already put that other... No. Oh my goodness. I'm but what if you did these acrylics over here that I'm pointing at off screen? Pick one. And then we'll add that. And then we'll call it a day. Okay. I don't know. I just grabbed that. Is that bad? Well, it matches this way too much. Yeah, exactly. There's a gold and a silver and, uh, and an opal. Well, where's your gold and your silver? <laughs> Let me try and dry some of this first because, you know. There's a lot going on. When all else fails, people, put marks all over your page. Gold? You put it in wet paint. Whoops! I'll get that off for you. There you go. Oh my god, remember when we were drying your hair with this? You're not supposed to, but then like a big tuff of steam will say poofed out. And I was like, we're done. Oh, that's lightening up a lot. It laid down really dark. How are these organized? They're not. I pull out the whole drawer when I paint. Gotcha. I'm going to let you find 
anything else. But yeah, gold would be nice. We'll do some gold. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Okay. Can you all see the glitter on that? It's crinkly paper, so it's hard. On this square right here. <laughs> it's super shiny. You'll love it. All right. I haven't used these in a long time. Terry says, lovely to hear. I'm from the Northwest, and I agree the South is lovely. We actually are very excited. We're going to come up and try to visit um, the Northwest eventually. Uh, actually, we're going to try to visit the whole North. I want to really go to the Lake District as well. Yeah. I want to see Manchester. Um, what else is happening? Let me see. Oh, Elaine says, I'm in Manchester. Hi, Terry. I'm in Manchester. Other than yesterday, it's been, uh, been very wet, hasn't it? Andrea says, hi, Rocky and Kimball. Hi. Best Sunday afternoon ever. Oh, I hope it's because you're here. <laughs> it's because Kimball's having an art crisis live on YouTube. It's not a crisis. It's not. I'm just going crazy with the colors. He's having a color craze. I think it's because I did say it was going to be monotone. And I'm like, nope. Yeah, he really freaked himself out there. Damn the man. Well, I think it's because he was done with the monochrome part really early. And we were like, no, no, no. We can't just call it done now. So let's just keep going and see how many art supplies we can possibly layer onto the... And now that it's been a full hour, we can call it good. <laughs> and my art, or my art, my water is very gross. And so are my hands. Let's dry this up a little bit. And now connect every square with a line, Kimball. That sounds like something fun for you to do later. Oh, okay, great. Here, have a cookie. This was like my first two-page spread thing. I mean, I have others, but like doing it all at the same time. It's you. Hi, you're the problem. It's you. Mm -hmm. And she art stands out. Time. A lot more than her. To me, anyway. Wait, who does? Blue girl. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Andrea says, I missed most of it. Can you start all over again? I mean, we can. All you have to do is you just basically press the restart button <laughs> and we'll start over again just for you. All right, I think, I think it's done. I think it's done. We've got games to play, fry chips to make, crisps to eat. But we're not done yet. Well, I I'm just, I'm just dry. Well, I mean, we've got, we've got to say goodbye. Obviously. So long farewell. I do want to show different angles too, but hopefully, hopefully the light will help pick up all them colors I've been talking about. All them colors, Kimball. Can you Where paint? did you study English? Huh. I don't want to say. All right. I don't want to say. Let me just whoop, lift that up. Oh, my God. My cup is turning blue. Let Merry slide Christmas. Slide the microphone back just a little bit here. Merry Christmas from Kimmy. Oh, you can't see because it's overexposed, but it's is blue. That, is it your paint water? Go ahead and take a sip. No, but it's blue. Oh. I've only used this mug like twice. Sip it. <laughs> let's see how your paint water turned out it's black looks great all right kimmy let's see the pieces go ahead and hold that up so we can all see wait let me just hold clamp. it up for the class show and tell show and tell sweetie I'm just clamping the edges of the paper because it's wrinkly we didn't ask for your life story we just want to see the art my life story goes beyond crinkles okay <gasps> Campbell. yeah Another one for the fridge. Probably not. Good job. Oh, we think who's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. I'm not sure. Do I... you like blue Linda? R really? Or do you like pal pal gal 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 pal gal? I don't know. Anyway, let's see. You want to see a couple different angles here? Let's see what we got. Yeah, try coming forehead. <laughs> No, no, no. Here, you need yeah, to you, come. Can, you can do it. You need to come from this angle. Then you can see all the purple in her hair, in her eye, because that was all from the same ink bottle. So pretty. And then over Trisha here. Trisha likes the evil blue window. Me too. There's the gold that showed up in the red ink. And then hers was a she or a gradient, so it's hard to tell. You can see like the purples in there. Like I like that. It looks like she was eating a little chocolate because it's like on her lip right here. I mean, with that angle, <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. No one likes a low angle, Kimball. Even artwork. You know, right? Anyway, 
And then you can see the glittery bits in the mermaid marker. Possibly, if I could do it right. How do I do my life? I mean, it just kind of looks super shiny when it hits the light. Zoom it out all the way here. I got you. Oh, yes, it is. You can see it, though. Yeah. The glittery bits. And the gold, it does have sheen, but I think it absorbs too much. Well, you can kind of see it. But it did absorb a ton of that ink. And, you can uh, especially see it right here on this big chunk. A nice chunk of gold. All right. There they are, Rocky. How do you feel about it? I feel really good, Campbell. I'm really glad that you could just spend all this time layering as many art supplies as you could on there. Thanks. I'm probably getting ink all over the camera. Mm, well, that's fine. I'm glad it's the black camera. You can clean that later. You'll have a lot of fun with that. I lit that candle over there for all ambiance. <laughs> it doesn't really smell. A lot of the candles that we get have no throw to them. So unless we found that unless they're like a Yankee candle, they really don't like emit odor in in the room when we light them but i'm gonna say scent over scent odor. scent and odor is set, that's safe for me that word that, yep so yeah i'm gonna stick with my Yankee candles mm. and i know there's one it's like an hour away 45 minutes but you know we'll pop in we'll pop in get a candle but yeah All we right. hope you guys had a wonderful week thank you for joining us Sign off, sign off music, Rocky. No, no, no. That's your thing. I can't possibly take that over for you. It's been every single anyway, episode. Anyway, I'm the pretty one. <laughs> Everyone thinks so. Look at my makeup. She's not the pretty one. No Whatever. one thinks. No. Blue she, and that's gorgeous. That's her thoughts about her. Oh, okay. She's not the pretty one. <laughs> Nobody thinks so. Bye, this everyone. Fun. Bye. Thanks for joining us.